Think about it. SEAL Team's basic job was always impossible, right? My job was what? To jump out of a perfectly good airplane, to fall into the ocean, okay? Get in the ocean and swim seven miles with a pack. Then I put that pack on my back, I hump through the desert or the jungle for 20 miles to get to a place where some motherfucker wants to shoot me. That's stupid, right? Oh, and I forgot, I got paid $24,000 a year for this job. For some of you, that's a watch. <laughs> okay? All right? But I love that job. I love that job. I always felt like a man after finishing that job. To go through adversity, to face those challenges, to move through all that molasses, that drag parachute of doubt and second guessing, that drag parachute of that quitting conversation, that insidious conversation that tries to diminish you and what you're capable of being. That is when I felt the most complete as a man, when I challenged myself. Not dead, can't quit. Not dead, can't quit. It's just that simple. People want to make it more complicated. Listen, if you ever hear one of your teammates talking about blaming somebody, the coach this, the coach that, my teammates are this, the, the environment's like that, the league is like this, let me tell you right now, that is the beginning of a conversation called quitting. Quitting on yourself, quitting on your teammates. Right? That's where it comes from. It's a very simple conversation, but it sounds completely reasonable at the time, and you can get a bunch of people to agree with you. Right? Accomplishing your mission, hitting your target no matter what, that is completely unreasonable. It goes against logic. It goes against odds. It goes against reason. You said you were going to do it, therefore, no matter what, you will do it. No matter what. See? Hitting your target, working together as a team, that's all about being unreasonable. Not finding an excuse not to be part of a team. Not finding an excuse not to accomplish your objective. That's the truth. It's just that simple. So, I want to speak one quick second more about team. All right? People say there's no I in team, okay? But guess what? Is there anybody here that doesn't want to be the man when somebody points the finger at them and say, you know what, I can do it. You can count on me. You can count on me. If you need something to do, you need the impossible done, that's what I thought about in SEAL Team. That's why I became a sniper. That's why I went into all these things. That's why I taught hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's why I taught land mountain Arctic warfare. I wanted to be the guy the skipper could turn to and say, listen, we need a guy who knows what he's doing to go here and do this job. I wanted that. I wanted that with my family. I wanted that with all my friends. That when they needed something, when the chips were down, they could count on me. They could point that finger at me. Who do you want to be? Do you want to be the guy that when the, when the chips are down, they can point that finger on you and they can point it and they can count on you to get the job done? That's a question. I don't have the answer for you. But I want you to get this. Inside a team is a very simple thing. It's very subtle. They say there's no I in team, but there is at me in team. It's subtle. It's not obvious. See, the team comes first. At me is second. But guess what? If you need somebody, do you want to be the guy they can point that finger at? Coach, point that finger at me. Buddy, you point that finger at me. Teammate, you point that finger at me and I'll deliver. Do you want to be that man? Or are you going to let your excuses, your quitting conversation, get in the way of what you're truly capable of being? When the chips are down, when the odds are against you, when it seems impossible, You've got every reason to quit. Are you going to be the one that has the guts to show up? Are you going to be the one that has the guts not to quit? We'll see. We'll see. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Thank you gentlemen. Appreciate it. Pleasure.
My pleasure, man. My absolute pleasure. Richard Mack, my pleasure. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir. Like rock. Like a little rock. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Joe Avanzano. Yes, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Seal Team One and Two. Fred Blatnikoff. I'll tell you what. That was the best, best thing I've heard anybody say to a team. Thank you so much, you know, sir. That is so welcome. nice. Thank you Thank so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming out, sir. I appreciate that. I met a bunch of guys from TCF Team Five a couple years ago. And part of your Right Rich, how are you doing? Hey, it's thanks for all you do for our country. I appreciate that. Thank you so thank much, you. sir. I appreciate it. I really that. appreciate you setting yeah. the team, man. It's awesome. Uh, thank you, man. Yeah. I appreciate that. It's it means the really world coming from you. guys like you, man. It's awesome. Thank we, you. All, we all want to be, you know, we all want to serve some way, somehow, you know what I mean? You yeah. Do a little different way. But, exactly. You are but, serving. No, exactly. I know, but it's, it's great. Man. It's awesome. Man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. It means the world to me, man. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate that. Thank you for that, man. Oh, that's my pleasure, man. My absolute pleasure. Are you like a seal for Pretty much. Yeah. Lifetime membership. Yeah. I saw the movie G.I. Jane. Like, was there anything like that? Oh, no. <laughs> that was a little bit. Uh, was it a little bit uh, like with, that? Without the G.I. Jane part? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was powerful. Thank you so yeah. much, man.